Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing a full case of Mimi Peach Blossom Season. Not only do I love peach blossoms, but this series is ridiculously pretty. I mean, just look at the artwork on the box. It's so pretty. Kind of the perfect spring series. We didn't have very many cherry blossom or sakura themed blind boxes this year. I was a little disappointed, but I think this series definitely fills the gap and I love the design. And this series only has six blind boxes, so it's a pretty small series and the figures look beautiful. I'm so excited to open them up and I'm so happy I'm going to get a full series. There's only one in this series that I'm not too interested in. All the rest of them are absolutely beautiful. I'll put up a picture of the secret edition so you can see what it looks like. And the secret edition is called Patronus. It is so awesome. I really hope we get. And what do you think about this series? Are you a big fan? I'm so excited to go ahead and open up this series, so let's go ahead and grab the first one and see who I get. I'm really, really hoping I get the secret edition. I think that would be really, really fun. But I'm really excited to see all of the figures in person. Oh, cute! Oh, we got the one that I'm in love with the most, the beautiful ghost phantom one. So this is Gargoyle Ghost. And in the bag, we have a little ghost buddy, so I'll open that up first. And inside the box, we have the card for the beautiful figure. This card is incredible. I love the art for this series. And on the other side, it just looks like the front of the box. And we also got this little card on here as well, and it's just the QR code. I don't even know how, but I think this figure is more beautiful in person than it looked like on the side. It's definitely giving off the gargoyle vibes, and we have this little light post with a lantern hanging from it. I mean, this figure is incredible, right? I absolutely love the fact that the ghosts are in clear vinyl, but they also have like a metallic opalescent sheen to them. They look incredible, and I just love these gray and blue colors used together. And I love the little mini ghost. I think that's such a nice touch and makes it so you can do a lot of cool photos with it. This is definitely my favorite figure for a reason. It is just so cool and so incredible. Definitely my favorite figure of this series. It is just so awesome. I'm so excited we got that one. But let's have a look at what we have out of box two. Oh, and they do come with a little tiny non-branded silica packet. And this one is really big. So this one is definitely peach blossom rain. You can feel the giant head because this one comes inside of a clear ball. And it also comes with a chain so you can hang it, which I think is really, really neat. They also have a blister pack that's kind of a different color to this one that comes with the same kind of bubble head. <laughs> this one is so cool. I don't know if this one's going to stand very well. Oh, it does stand. I'm impressed with that. And let's go ahead and have a look at the card inside of the box. Wow, this one is beautiful as well. The cards for these are magical. I can't believe how pretty these cards are. Wow, I absolutely love the colors for the cherry blossom rain. The colors are just so amazing. I love the yellow with the pink details. It looks so nice. I think this one looks a lot better in person. I'm definitely a huge fan of this one. I think this one looks so cool. And it's nice that the antlers of the Mimi peek out through the little bubble. And you can take the bubble off. It's really easy to take off, actually. So if you don't want to display it with the bubble around it, you don't have to. And I think it looks just as gorgeous with it off as it does on. I just love the outfit that it's wearing. It looks so awesome. I love the sleeves, too. And the sleeves have the flower petals on them. It looks really cool. I don't think the bubble thing is essential at all. But if you do want to hang it up, you can hang it up. I do love that they included the little chain. And if you wanted to clip this onto the bag, I do think the protective bubble thing clips on pretty well. It should be okay. I probably wouldn't do that. 
And let's go ahead and unbox the last one from this top row. And then we'll get into the bottom row of this series. And I don't think I've mentioned yet while unboxing how beautiful the bags are. I really love the, the gold with all the flower designs on it. And the brand that this is from is Mihu Research Institute and Hey One. All right, let's open this up and see who I have for my third box. And we have the one on the cover. So this is the beautiful rabbit god. And this one has a shiny vinyl to it instead of the soft matte. The soft matte figures feel really good, but I do love how the rabbit is in the shiny vinyl. Oh, it looks so good. And here is the beautiful card for our bunny god. And I love how it has that little bunny looking up at it. And this does come with a little bunny that has like a little basket on its head. And this bunny is really cute. I think it would be even cuter if it looked like the one from the photo. It doesn't quite look like the one from the photo. I think the one from the photo is a lot cuter. But it's still really pretty. And inside of the bag, it came with a big wand that the Mimi is holding. But for the smaller wand, I'm not 100% sure what you do with it. I think it's supposed to be an arrow and not a heart wand, which could mean that this bucket on top of the rabbit's head is actually the quiver for all of the arrows. So it might just supposed to be a loose arrow that you just kind of put inside of the quiver. And for the actual figure itself, it is so beautiful. I love how the cape is blowing in the wind. We have these beautiful speckles on it and it has this beautiful green with this peachy kind of pink. It's wearing these kind of puffy pants, which I think are really funny, especially with the stripe. And again, it has its eyes closed. This one has a peach blossom inside of its mouth, which looks great. And it has this talisman or charm attached to one of the ears, which is really cool. And I'm really happy to see for this series that the Mimis stand a lot better than the series I opened before. They really had trouble standing and it was a bit of a disappointment, but these ones stand so well. And then we have the bow on the back, of course. I think it's really cool. These are definitely my favorite Mimis that I've unboxed so far. I think they look so great. And we're halfway through the video, so only three more boxes left. I really appreciate smaller series like this. The theme is a lot more cohesive, I find, and it's a lot more affordable because you're only buying six figures if you really like the theme. I kind of wish more places would do smaller series like this. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't mind, especially with this gorgeous of a theme. You're definitely not missing anything out by only having a few of these. Oh, and the card keeps coming out. I'll probably cut that out in case you are spoiled, but if not, I'll just keep it in. But I definitely know what's inside this figure, so let's just open it up. And it's the one that I wasn't too excited about. We have our tree one, and here we have the beautiful card for our tree one. This card is so incredible. I absolutely love the artwork for this series. I wish you could buy prints of these. I definitely would buy prints of all of them. But let's have a close look up at this figure. I absolutely love how the bottom of it is a tree trunk and we don't have feet. That is so cool. The Mimi is kind of growing like a tree. It's so incredible. And I love the outfit that this one is wearing. It looks very traditional and it seems to be taken right out of a temple. And we have the beautiful blossoms in the hair. It looks so good. Even though this isn't my favorite of the series just because of all the brown in it, I still think it's an incredible figure. And it's so beautiful and so serene in person. It looks so nice and I think every character for this series has its eyes closed. And we only have two boxes left. I'm pretty confident I'm not going to get the secret edition. That's okay. It's beautiful, but I would love to have a full series. I think it's going to be a really cool one to get. I've seen a few people already online who've gotten it, and it's really beautiful. 
All right, and let's see what this one is. This one is really big. I'm excited to see. I think I know which one this is. One, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> this is the beautiful one that's in the carriage. And it seems to be with some plastic just to protect the antlers. This one is so gorgeous. It's even bigger in person than I thought it would be. Wow, this one is incredible. And look at the card for this one. It is so incredible. I love the color of the water. Wow, this one is beautiful. I cannot say enough good things about this one. It is so, so incredible. We have our beautiful Mimi curled up under a blanket in this carriage that looks like it's made out of a shell with some vines. Very Cinderella, I think. And then we have the beautiful, I'm guessing this is a rabbit spirit that's kind of underneath it. And we have the flower drooping over on the other side, it looks so good. And the petal on top of the shell, it looks great. The yellow looks so great. And this one just looks so cozy and beautiful. And here we are at the end. We have our last box. So let's have a look at the side again. And we're missing one of my favorite ones, the one down here that has the beautiful rain droplet. And this box is not very heavy. I don't think we got the secret edition at all. But I'm really happy to get this one because it is incredible and I'm so excited to have it. <laughs> All right, let's open it up and see. Oh, and the card's already coming out. All right, let's see the one that I got. One, two, three. Wow, this one in person is amazing. Oh, I love the water droplet details. This one just looks so precious. And here we have the beautiful card for this one in the rain. Wow, it's just so incredible. I absolutely love these cards. The details are just so incredible. I think they're all just mini pieces of artwork by themselves. And let's have a closer look up at this one. Wow, this one looks so gorgeous close up. I love the color of the blue with the white as well as the kind of steel gray. And we have water droplets all over sitting on its hat as well as blossoms itself. And it looks like it's eating a little peach dessert. I'm not 100% sure the name for this peach dessert, but I'm pretty sure one of my local bakeries has it. I remember every year in spring, they do these specific type of peach baked items that look like little butts. They're really cute. I don't think I've ever tried them though. I don't know, maybe I should try them, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be one of those little desserts that it's holding or maybe a raindrop, but it is a pink raindrop, so I don't think so. And its robes look incredible and this figure is definitely so amazing. This whole series is just so, so beautiful and so one of a kind. I think these are so unique. And here's all the figures that I unboxed today. I cannot get over how incredible these figures are. Each one of them is just so incredibly unique and special. I can't wait to take a bunch of photos of these ones. They're going to be so cool for taking photos with. I'm absolutely in love. I really hope you like this unboxing of Mimi Peach Blossom Season, and you really love these figures as much as I did. Let's have a closer look up at these incredible cards, and let me know down below if you're a big fan of Mimi and if you'd like to see more of them on my channel. I do know that the brand has a few other characters that they've added that they've done newer series with and I might have those on my channel in the future. And thanks so much for watching. Click up here if you want to see more full cases that I've done. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.